Is Sister Sage the true mastermind of season 4? Let's deep dive into her secret plan to destroy Homelander and the Seven from the inside out. Hey guys, I'm Shalana. Welcome to the Bin Zone. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button because we're deep diving into Sister Sage's master plan to destroy Homelander and the Seven from within. So without further ado, let's just dive into the video. Who? is Sister Sage and what does she want? Sister Sage, AKA Jessica Bradley, is the newest character introduced in The Boys season four and she doesn't have a comic book counterpart. So there is no reference point of the comic that can give us a hint at her master plan. But from the first four episodes, we know a few things about her. One, she has superpowers and her power is super intelligence, making her the smartest person in the world in The Boys universe. And two, she does not like the superhero super team lifestyle because what we do know of her background is she was a member of the superhero team called the Teenage Kicks along with A-Train when they were young. However, Sister Sage quit after a year and nothing else after that is known about her life until Homelander makes his way to her home. But that's when we get our first glimpse of who she is because once she, Homelander gets to her and they start to talk and one, we know she's not afraid of Homelander. Two, we understand how smart she is. You can just look around her apartment and see all she does is read and analyze. She was able to deconstruct Homelander's very character just by looking at his physical traits. Because of her super intelligence, she has empathic accuracy, allowing her to quickly deduce and understand what someone's feeling just based on their physical attributes and how they phrase their words and how she can deconstruct that because of her hypercognition, which allows her mind to process everything at a faster rate than anyone else. So she's able to deconstruct just who Homelander is. And we already know one thing, she does not like Homelander or what he stands for. So when he recruits her into the seven, she already knows it's not gonna go well for her just because she can already read the type of person Homelander is. And he reinforces this when they're interrogating the Vought employee and Homelander on a whim, petty and callously kills the employee before Sister Sage is able to extract any information from this employee, showing the disconnect between her intelligence and Homelander's brute might philosophy. Because she knows this difference, she's able to manipulate him easier. She's able to give him what he's looking for without overstepping her boundaries. So even though she looks like she steps to Homelander and comes at him a certain way, she's always treading the line. She's smart enough to know just how far to push before he snaps, showing her manipulative nature. When she tells the Deep that he is a super being and he shouldn't take shit from Ashley, that also shows her manipulative behavior. Seeing her maneuver around the seven, we see that she has control over Homelander, she has some control over the deep, and the fact that she brought in Firecracker into the fold, she also has control over Firecracker. And Homelander made her CEO of Vought, giving her complete control of the company. Not only is she manipulating them to do what she wants, she's also having them put her in positions of power where she can really crush them because she does not stand for anything that they believe in. She believes they're idiots and no bigger case can be made of this than with her and Firecracker. She's having Firecracker lean into her conspiracy theories. She's having Homelander lean into the alt-right movement. And the fact that she is a black woman, the fact that she is also intelligent, tells us she doesn't believe in the buffoonery that they're doing, but it's just a means to an end. And with that means to end, to further illustrate this, she puts Firecracker right across from Starlight to further incite this, and she knows exactly what buttons to push. She is the one that most likely gave Firecracker Starlight's medical records, and when she starts to talk about that touchy subject, I don't want to get demonetized, but we know what subject, and Starlight snaps and comes and beats her ass on live television, it not only weakens her public image, it also weakens Firecracker's public image too because we know that side of the spectrum, the way the boys are spoofing it, is they're hyper machismo, hyper violent, and they really believe they can whoop ass. So when she's getting her ass whooped by another superpower being two people with powers fighting so it's on even ground and Starlight just beat her ass, that weakened Firecracker, that weakened the image that they're trying to portray, that weakens Homelander's position, and her plans are finally starting to come into fruition. Cause now that she's ingrained into Vought, even in her first plan with Homelander, for that plan to work, they had to kill three of Homelander's biggest fans and zealots 
And that also weakens his base. These people were blind devotees to Homelander and she got them killed to incite a riot that was ultimately proven false with the evidence that the boys had gotten. She's also aware of A-Train and his movements with the boys because she's playing both sides. She needs the boys because they're the primary muscle against Homelander, but she also needs Vought and Homelander to still believe she's on their side. Ultimately, her goal is anarchy. She is smart and intelligent, and we see that can be a burden. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, and if you saw the movie Oppenheimer, you know geniuses are often tormented souls and she oftentimes lobotomizes herself to shut her brain off. Because with her powers, she has a super brain that can regenerate, but sometimes she just wants to shut it off and just be stupid like the rest of us. And now she has the deep in her trenches. The deep is now working with her. She's now manipulating the deep, using him for his body, having him lobotomize her so she can kind of shut down her brain for a few hours and have a good time and enjoy herself physically without over analyzing every situation because that's what she does. Analyzes every situation like a black woman usually does. And that's another thing that kind of shows us what her plan is because the boys this entire, the show in its entirety, but specifically this season has been leaning towards modern political sensibilities. One of the pillars of this current political climate is the black woman and having a black woman like her who can come off as being right wing, but she is too smart for that. She already says she doesn't even agree nor associate with their ideology. She's using the reverse psychology. She's destroying them from the inside. She's being a part of the system to change the system from the inside. That is something that the show would do. That is something that they're leaning towards because they spoof the left, they spoof the right, and ultimately, these types of shows always have a message. So if you're spoofing both sides, your message is most likely centrist. Work from within the system. You're smarter than that. If you're smarter, do better. Expose the frauds and move on from there. Which we see her plan develop on live television. We see her plan come to fruition. The next step in her plan is to manipulate Victoria Newman. She already has her supporting them. When she finally blackmails Newman with Newman's political power and Vought's wallet, she can in fact create the change that she wants to see. She wants the world to destroy itself, but not really. She wants the people who believe in Homeland, the people who move either extreme right or extreme left to cannibalize and eat each other. That's why she incites violence on both sides, from Starlight's group and from Homelander's group. So she wants both of these extremes to cannibalize on each other and she can create a new world order. She can't do it with physical strength. She doesn't have super strength. All she has is the power of her brain and her brain is allowing her to do this. That just goes to show sometimes might may be right. Brains always beat brawn if you use it correctly. But guys, that's just my theory on her master plan. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it in the comment section below. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and until next time, binge on.